Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what it looks like to look at the stars with a Gen 1 night vision device. This is Night Owl Optics night vision. These are dirt cheap. I got these for 60 bucks. You can buy them new on Amazon, an even better one for about 150. So they're dirt cheap. And I bet with enough tinkering, you could probably stick this on a, on a telescope if you'd like. And that's going to be the point of this video. Showing what these look like looking at the stars. Because a lot of people like to look at the stars. That's really cool. I'm not into that myself. But I've had a lot of questions about that, so I'm going to show this off. So with Gen 1, you got to be careful because it does not have any kind of auto gating and you have to be really delicate with it because if you drop it, you can break the tube. So it's, it, I mean, you can't be mad because it's, it's 60 year old tech, but let's give this a go. So you got to start by turning off the lights, unscrewing the lens cap, which takes a literal eternity and Pounding the sucker on. All right, we have power. Let me just turn on the illuminator so you can actually see. Okay, this is with the nothing on. You can't really see much. Over there, you can probably see some stuff, but you can't see much. There's a lot of distortion. Turn on that, you can see a lot more. But that's the infrared illuminator. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking at the stars. So now let's point it up towards the heavens. And what did you know? Well, can't even speak. There's no clouds right now, but wouldn't you know, you can actually see the stars. And it does not look half bad, honestly. You can see a decent number of the stars. And they're in moderate definition. And this is with this own little telescope thing or whatever. See a satellite right there. Oh, you can't even see that with the naked eye. That's actually kind of cool. I think that's a satellite. Might be a plane. Oh no, it's a plane, I can actually see it. Okay, but this is what the stars look like. That is another star here. I'll find one that y'all will be able to know about. And it's right, oh, not that. This is definitely better than what your eyes can see, but right to the right, here. We got the Little Dipper. You can definitely see more around it, but it's got a lot of distortion on the edge, so you're only getting a really good view in the center. But I mean, for 60 bucks, it'll give you a good taste of what everything looks like up there. When you look it through your eye, it looks pretty much identical to what you're seeing on the camera, or even a little bit worse. But I mean, it's okay, I guess see some stuff like you can turn on the illuminator oh, that's too far <laughs> I don't know any other constellations I'm not that good with astronomy but uh no that's not the big dipper it might be the big dipper yeah that's it that is the big dipper I think. Oh, that's definitely not a star. <laughs> that is the Big Dipper. Got your first star, your little binary star right there. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. Yeah, it's hard to see it all because this thing's so focused in, but hey, it'll work. And this is with an iPhone camera, so it'll certainly work for simple stuff like this. Now, if you were to strap this on to something else, put some filters on it, probably wouldn't be half bad. There's no moon right now, but the moon, you couldn't look at it. It'd be terrible. It'd be like looking at this. This is it's all you'd see is a big glare, so you need some kind of filter. But I mean, it's not half bad. It'd probably be better. Let's see, is it the sheep? Oh, I was like, what is that? <laughs> see, it does work better than nothing, because... Out there, I cannot see it all, and bam, now you can see. Look at the sheep. Okay, go back to the stars. Man, my arm is getting sore from holding this. <laughs> but 
it's not half bad. And this is using whatever lenses this thing has. All right. Let me just put the lens cap back on here. Again, you have to be very careful with this because it is a image intensifier tube, so it is delicate. That's going to be with any of the night vision you get. With some of the Gen 3s, you can, uh, I think Gen 2s have it now, but with some of the Gen 3s, you can get auto gating, but you're talking about a system that costs $3,000. So you'd have to be really interested in looking at the stars. And I got some light again. There you have it. 60 bucks, you get an okay view of the sky. You probably spent about 150 though. So you can, it is what it is. I don't know how modifications would work on this. I bet it probably wouldn't be terribly hard to do. And honestly, online you could probably find some guides on how to do it, but I didn't see all that many videos showing the stars with these because it's a niche community. But I mean, I made a video on it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any other questions, Leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. But don't ask me star constellations, because I cannot tell you. I mean, if you showed me something, I could try and do it, but I am, I'm not good with astronomy. I'm just going to tell you now. All right, well, I'll see you guys all later. Until next time, goodbye.